Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video we are going to be dehydrating some garlic. So let's get cracking. So anytime we can take advantage of a great buy uh, of, well, anything really, whether it's fruits, vegetables, or whatever, we really try to take advantage of that and then figure out ways that we can preserve the food. If you got a good deal, you want to save some money, dehydrating is one of the things that will really help you out. Now, we ended up getting a smoking deal on some pre-peeled garlic. And so we are going to be dehydrating that today. And so I'm gonna take you over to the kitchen and show you what we got going on. But the first step is to unbag this stuff and get it choppy chopped up, chopperoo. Okay, so here are the peeled, ready to go garlics. I just gotta get them unwrapped. We're gonna roll them through the food processor and then spread them out onto our dehydrating trays and get them warm and toasty. So in goes our garlic. Oh, huh, that's interesting. They're sealed up in, I guess, what would be the whole garlic head. So this will take me a little bit longer. I'm gonna open these up and then we'll get them in there. Just a side note, we had ended up with 30 bags of uh, cloves, rather, of garlic that they were pre-packaged, individually bagged. But that amount makes about six cups chopped. So off we go to the dehydrator. Okay, so for those among you who are the more astute, the ones that have got the eye for details, may have noticed a, a scenery change. And the reason for that is, well, frankly, this is gonna stink. <laughs> and whenever you're dehydrating stuff like garlic or jalapeno peppers, you really don't wanna do it inside unless it's absolutely there's no other way around. It'll burn your eyes, it's not a good scene. So we're gonna go ahead and get our garlic loaded onto the dehydrator and get cracking. Okay, I've got my dehydrator loaded up and made sure that there's a nice amount of space so the air can get in and around all the different pieces, chunky wonkies of garlic. And now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cranking at 115 degrees and let it just roll on till it's all dry. Okay, so we've waited our time. It's taken us about, uh, I would say, you know, 10-ish hours to get it crispy, crispy. I don't know if you can hear that, but this is ready to go. Nice and done, everything's nice and brittle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest all of this dehydrated garlic into a Wonder Bowl. And then from the Wonder Bowl, we're gonna grind it up into a super sweet powder. Here we go. Now this is what we're left with. Look at that. Crispity, crunchy garlic into the grinder. You shall go. All right, it's grind time. Woo, jump, jump. All right, so we're grounded up, we're grounded, we're founded and grinded, and uh, basically all of that labor got you about two cups of garlic powder. Now, keep in mind the, te the texture of it, some of it's fine and some of it is slightly coarse. Now, you can grind this and grind this if you like the poofy powdery kind, uh, but we kind of like the, uh, the, the, the uh, mixture of the, the size chunks that kind of goes really, really well, especially in things like garlic bread. Super awesome. Now, I tell you what, folks, now here's the other thing to keep in mind. Now, all of that garlic, making two cups of uh, your garlic powder. Well, now, is that a good deal? Probably not if you're going to the store to buy the garlic. However, if you have your own, uh, you know, garlic patch, you grow your own garlic, then heck yeah, it's a great deal. But just wanted to show you how you could do it. It is a cool thing to do. Nothing better than fresh, and I'm talking fresh, and so this is now shelf stable. We're gonna go ahead and zip lock this up into a, you know, a, a vacuum sealed bag and onto the shelf it goes. This will be good for spices, for all kinds of stuff all year round. Please don't forget to share the video, pass it around, like and subscribe. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.